everyone, you're welcome to today's service with BLW Oasis. My name is Pastor Iris and today we'll be talking about something very, very interesting. And our topic of today's discussion is speaking in tongues, our heavenly language. Yes, you heard me right. Speaking in tongues, our heavenly language. By the end of today's service, it's my desire that not only do you understand the purpose of speaking in tongues, but you will be able to speak in tongues. Praise God. You know, talking about a language, hmm, what is a language? You know, a language is a system of communication used by a particular community or group of people. It could also be defined as um, a method by which a people um, use words or structure their words to produce certain meanings or sounds. Praise the Lord. And um, synonyms for language are tongues vernacular native tongue so when we talk about speaking in tongues a synonym for tongues is language and a synonym for language is tongues so speaking in tongues is like saying speaking a language but now the question is what language you know there are several languages in the world as a matter of fact we have the rhapsody of realities that has been translated into 7858 languages praise the lord so that tells us that there are diverse languages all around the world but this particular language we'll be talking about today is god's language what language does god communicate with us praise the lord when you gave your heart to christ you were brought into the kingdom of heaven. Not only did you uh, uh, um, come into Christ, when you received the Holy Ghost, now Christ dwells in you. So really, it was two experiences. The first was you being baptized into Christ, which is you being born again when you said the prayer of salvation. Then you received the Holy Ghost to live in you. So now Christ is in you by the power of the Holy Ghost. So, Every, like we said in the beginning when we were um, defining what a language was, every people have a language, okay? Every um, creature has a language. Animals have their language. Humans have their language. Now, the question is, when you gave your heart to Christ, you became a God. What is our language? Praise the Lord. What is our language? What language do we speak in Christ? Speaking in tongues is the most effective way to communicate with God. And by the end of this service, you will know why. Praise God. Now, what is the importance of having communication? Why is it important to communicate? Number one, communication helps us express our ideas, our thoughts, and our feelings towards others. Also, it helps or it gives us the ability to build a structure our communication can either build or break our society that's the power of our words praise god now who is considered grounded in a certain language you know most often they tell people oh i can't be a translator of this particular language because i'm not very versed with the language even though i speak the language so it's possible for you to actually speak a language without necessarily being very versed in the language so that means that your communication might not be as effective as someone who is actually grounded or versed in the language. Now, diving right into scripture, speaking in tongues, let's go to 1 Corinthians chapter 14, and I'll be reading from the New Living Translation. 1 Corinthians chapter 14, and I'll be reading from verse 2. It says, For if you have the ability to speak in tongues, you will be talking only to God, since people won't be able to understand you. You'll be speaking by the power of the Spirit, but it will be mis it, it will be mysterious. Um, the King James says you're speaking mysteries. Praise God. Now, um, what that what that means is first of all, the first part of the scripture we just read says speaking in tongues is an unknown language. Praise God. Speaking in tongues is an unknown language. Now, unknown to who? The physical world. Because this is one language that you speak and your brain and your mind has no idea what you're talking about because this language is not processed through your brain. It comes directly from the spirit. How is that possible? Who are those qualified to speak in tongues? Everyone who is born again. 
and everyone who has received the Holy Ghost. Praise the Lord. Now, speaking in tongues helps you express yourself to God by the power of the Holy Spirit. Now, this is not the language where maybe you go to school and they say, okay, you say good morning or you say good evening and they're teaching you, okay, so your first words are going to be mama or dada. No, these words come directly from the spirit that resides in you to God. So it is incorrupted, it is undiluted, and it is pure. And again, it's reliable. Remember, your brain and your mind has nothing to do with it. You know, when I'm um, feeling people with the Holy Ghost and I always ask them, I'm like, okay, so um, are you ready to speak in tongues? And they always say, Pastor, so why must I speak in tongues? Why is it important I speak in tongues? I always tell them this. When you pray, what exactly do you pray about? I'm like, and they'll be like, oh, I pray for my family. I pray for my job. I pray for my education. I pray for, you know, whatever. And I ask them, I'm like, okay, so how about the things you don't know about? How do you pray for them? Because really in your understanding, you can only pray for what you know. You really cannot pray for what you don't know. That's where speaking in tongues comes into play. Because do you know what will happen to you next week? Do you know what is going to happen to you next year? How could you stop something from happening next year when you are not aware of it? By speaking in tongues. So when you speak in tongues, this is the Holy Ghost speaking through you, arranging your life for the future. So instead of you walking into prayer points, you'll be walking into testimonies. Why? Because you have your life prearranged. Why? Because you spoke in tongues. Why? Because you allow the Spirit of God take over you to speak words into your future. You know, God speaks in eternal echoes. So no word spoken in tongues or prophecies gotten from the place of prayer with the Holy Ghost falls to the ground. None of them returns void. So we have tremendous, tremendous opportunities. And um, one of the most impactful uh, uh, um, experiences when you speak in tongues is it deepens your fellowship with the Holy Ghost. It deepens your fellowship with God because not only are you able to remember communication is a two-way process. So I talk and you respond. But when you find yourself talking and not receiving any response, it's either whoever it is you're talking to is responding and you cannot hear or you're not sensitive enough to understand the response. But with speaking in tongues, because remember, the Spirit of God is already praying through you. So when the answers to your prayer comes immediately in the Spirit, you get it. You get it. You get the note of victory. You get it maybe through prophecy. You might get it through tongues and then you now have an interpretation. You might get it through a song that drops into your spirit. You might... In any way. Why? Because you're already uh, um, synced with God in the place of prayer, in speaking in tongues. A lot of people don't like to pray because their prayers don't uh, um, produce results. Why? Because they don't know how to receive answers. So they find themselves praying and when they are done talking to God, they say amen and they walk out. Has God spoken back to you? Prayer is supposed to be a moment of fellowship. It's supposed to be a moment of communication. So why are you talking to God and you're not expecting God to talk back to you? Hmm, did, did I strike a nerve? In your next session of prayer, make sure you're listening for what God has to say. Because remember, the Bible tells us that before we even started praying, he has already answered. But then, how do we get our results? How do we get our answers? It's actually by us paying attention in the spirit. Praise the Lord. Now, I'm going to continue reading the verse 4 of the same chapter, same book, 1 Corinthians chapter 14. Um, I'll start from verse three, actually. Let's do verse three. But one who prophesies strengthens others, encourages them and comforts them. A person who speaks in tongues is strengthened personally, but one who speaks a word of prophecy strengthens the entire church. Did you hear that? Speaking in tongues personally strengthens you. Do you know what that means? Now, this strength is not about you having energy to lift weights. Uh-uh. This is a strength that equips you 
for every area and aspect in your life. This is a strength that equips you to be a successful person. Now, you might be a successful doctor. You might be a successful student. You might be a successful engineer. But the question is, are you a successful person? You might wonder why um, medical doctors, businessmen, um, influential fashion designers take their own lives. You'll be like, but these people are famous. They have the money, they have the cars, they have the houses, they have stable careers. Why would they take their own lives? That passes across a very strong message. All they have is not all there is. There is a vacuum in the heart of man that can only be filled by God. When you give time to fellowship in this way with the Holy Ghost, by speaking in tongues, then not only do you become fulfilled in every area of your life, it makes you a successful person. Then you find rest. Then you truly come to your place of success. Now, not just as an engineer and not just as a doctor, not just as a student, but then as a person. And you can only give what you have. Then not only are you being invited for TED Talks to motivate people, you go beyond motivating people to inspiring people. Why? Because the inspirator himself lives in you, in the person of the Holy Ghost. Now you might be watching and you're wondering, how can I speak in tongues? Can I actually speak in tongues? I thought it was a gift. No, it's not a gift. It's an amazing privilege given to Christians. Every and anyone who has received the Holy Ghost into their lives, that's after giving their hearts to Christ. You might just say this very short prayer after me. Um, because this is an online service, um, there are two ways you get filled with the Spirit of God. By impactation, that's the laying on of hands. Or by confession, just the same way you received your salvation. I would like to help you receive the Holy Ghost. But just in case you're listening to me and maybe you have not yet given your heart to Christ, I'm first of all going to lead you into salvation. Then we're going to fill you with the Holy Ghost with words. Are you ready? Now, this is for those of you who have not given your hearts to Christ. Repeat this prayer after me. Say, Oh Lord God, I come to you in the name of Jesus. Your word says, Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. I declare the Lordship of Jesus over my life from this day forward. And I believe that God raised him from the dead. I'm born again. I'm a new creation. I now have Christ dwelling in me. And I now walk in the consciousness of my new life in Christ Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Wow, congratulations, you are born again. Now, not only are you born again, that can also be said you have been baptized into Christ. Hmm, how exciting. Congratulations, and I celebrate with you. Now, let's take this analogy. Imagine you came to, maybe went on vacation to Hawaii or Florida, okay? And um, we went to the pool. Now, if we are in the pool, that does not necessarily mean that the pool is in us. That's what just happened. You just jumped into the pool. But that does not mean the pool is in you. You always hear Jesus say, I am in my father and my father is in me. Because God always wants to have the relationship where not only is he in you, but you are in him. So you have taken the first step to be in him. Now God will love to be in you. Now not only will you be swimming in that pool, but then the pool is going to be in you. Hmm. Maybe that's why the Bible says, out of our belly shall flow gushers of living water. Why? Because the person who produces the water lives in us. Now are you ready to receive the Holy Spirit? Just repeat after me. Dear Father, thank you for giving us the Holy Spirit to live in us. I receive the Holy Spirit into my life and I subject my body, my soul, my mind, and my spirit to his ministry. Thank you, Father, for making me your temple in Jesus' name. 
Amen. Praise the Lord. You have received the Holy Spirit. Now you have the ability to speak in tongues. Now you might be saying, okay, pastor, can you teach me? No, I cannot teach you. Remember, this has nothing to do with your mind. So this is not you thinking, hmm, what are my next words? What am I saying after this? Just go ahead and speak in other tongues. I'm going to speak in tongues for a few minutes and you join me. Remember, don't think about it. I can't say, okay, your first words are going to be mama. No, 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 no. Allow your spirit. This is you trusting God to pray through you. Just allow your spirit. Relax. Allow your spirit and the spirit of God will pray through you. This is going to be like um, a newborn baby learning to talk. First, he's saying, mama or dada. And then when he gets more exposed to the word of God, he starts making um, speaking articulately. So at the beginning, you might find yourself repeating words. It is okay because as you give yourself to the word of God, as you fellowship with God through the rhapsody of realities or through the Pastor Chris digital library, you'll gain more spiritual vocabulary and you will be able to speak in tongues or better still, articulate more. So you realize that your spiritual vocabulary is actually increasing. So yes, it's okay if you find yourself repeating words. Remember, you just got born again, okay? You just got born again, so you're like that newborn baby, two minutes old, I think. Yeah, praise God. So I'm just going to go ahead and speak in tongues. And yes, join me, okay? Libra ka sunde ki bradi shata kabrades ka. Manta kabradum ze ki bradi shata kabrades. Lega ando ski bra ando shata kabrades. Manto kobrondo ski bradi shata. Lega de sata kabradum sota kabradi shata. Yes, go ahead, open your mouth and speak. Don't think about it. Just go ahead and speak. Maka sunde ki bradi. La kaba baba ka sota kabadi shata kabades legede sata kabadon jata kabadi sata oh glory to god father in the name of jesus i thank you for everyone who received this word today thank you for impacting them with your spirit thank you because they are improved they are promoted in the name of jesus as they give themselves to you in the place of prayer fellowship and studying of the word as they seek you, Father, they find you and their lives are productive. They will know for a fact that you in their lives is indeed their hope of glory. Every area of their lives, I rebuke the devourer over their finances, over their health, in the name of our Lord Jesus. They are blessed in their going out and in their coming in and they grow in grace and in the knowledge of your word. Thank you, sweet spirit of God. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Thank you all so much for joining service today. See you in our next service. Until then, keep fellowshipping with the Holy Ghost and enjoy a blissful moment with the Holy Ghost. God bless you.